Hey guys, what's up? Sam here back with another video. Now last week I was online and I realized that there was a new update to Phoenix. And if you guys don't know, Phoenix is a third party Twitter app. So they had a new update to say that they were able to edit tweets. So I was like, oh wow, this is cool. Let me check it out. Now when I installed it, I realized that there was a lot of tweets that were coming at me and I never ever got them using the old Twitter app. So I was like, oh my gosh, this is like crazy. So I have to stick to this app, right? However, I realized that anytime I get a Twitter notification, it takes like five minutes later for it to come on the Phoenix app. So I was kind of frustrated and I was thinking, why can't they have a good third party Twitter app that gets notifications properly? Then somebody told me that it's because of the API restrictions placed on the third party apps by Twitter themselves, why notifications are always lagging behind. Now with that problem came this video, all right? So in this video, I'm gonna go over the best Twitter app for your Android device, all right? Let's jump into the video. So basically, what I'm gonna do is go through the pros and cons of each Twitter application, and at the end, I'll let you guys know which one I think is the best, and you guys can let me know which one you prefer in the comment section down below, all right? Let's kick things off with the OG, the original Twitter application for Android, all right? Now this one, I do like this app, it's pretty clean, the UI looks good, it's fresh and if you like a minimalistic look, then you're gonna like this app, alright? And in terms of real-time notifications, it's actually the fastest, as I mentioned before, that's because of Twitter's site like a grip on their API, so various features are not really found in other third-party apps. Next up on the pro list is how fast and easy it is to refresh your feed. So let's say you're scrolling down your feed and you want to go back to the top or you see that you have new tweets. All you have to do is just click on the little dot at the top of the screen and it brings you right back to the top, all right? Pretty simple, pretty fast and easy. Now onto the con side of things. Now the Twitter app, it has pretty much no way to theme this app, all right? In a lot of third party apps, you get to theme it galore with this. All you get is pretty much night mode and that's it. Now another thing I really didn't like is how they handle notifications. It's not really fluid. So let's say I'm on the PC, a notification comes in, I check it. If I go to my phone here, it's actually still there. The notification is still there, it doesn't disappear. So that's something that I can address in a future update, all right? Now another thing on the con list is that my tweets are never in order, all right? I'm scrolling down my timeline, I see something from five seconds ago, I'm like, all right, cool. Right below that, something from 18 minutes ago. Right below that, something from two minutes ago. Like, I like chronological order, guys, and I'm sure a lot of other people do too, So Twitter, get it together. Now the last and biggest con on the list is that I'm just not getting all my tweets. So as I said before guys, I went on Phoenix and I realized that there's a lot of tweets coming at me that I never ever saw. So people might think I was being a uber bitch, but I really wasn't. And that's because of the Twitter app. So I went into the settings menu trying to see if I could change something, but nothing was really fixed. So because of that, I was frustrated and I moved to the next app, which is Phoenix. So after the whole Twitter debacle, I went onto this app and the first thing that jumped out at me was that it was able to edit tweets. All right guys, this app said it was able to edit tweets. So I was like, wow, cool, let me see what it's all about, all right? However, it doesn't really edit it in the way you think it does. Let me explain. So how this works is that if you write a tweet and hit send, you actually get a little countdown timer where the tweet goes to the top of the screen and you have like 30 seconds to reread it Make sure everything is okay and then hit send or it will just automatically send. Now this feature is very convenient and useful guys, especially if you're someone like me who just writes a bunch of stuff and hits send without really reading it properly. So yeah, thumbs up for this app for doing something like that, alright? It's the way to go. Now another feature that I really liked on this app is that it had gestures. And what I mean by that is that you're able to double tap, long press and tap on the tweet to interact with it in various ways, alright? So for me, what I did, if I double tap, that means I like the tweet. If I long press, that means I retweeted it. And by doing a regular tap, it would just bring up the actions for me to do other stuff like reply, etc. Another thing on the pro list was that this app was able to be themed. It's not as robust as some of the others I've seen, but it did have them. It has a bunch of pre-configured themes that you can select from. So thumbs up for Phoenix for having that option, all right? Now another thing I liked about the Phoenix app was how it refreshed its feed. So if you click at the top there, it tells you how many new tweets you have and by clicking that number, it just brings you back to the top, all right? So it's a pretty simple and fast way to refresh the feed. However, notifications on this app took way too long. When I was testing it out, guys, the app came in last each and every time. Sometimes it took five minutes later, sometimes up to 30 minutes later. Next up is Flamingo. Now this is the most customizable app I've ever seen, guys. Like when it comes to theming, you can choose any color from any spectrum of the rainbow. And it does apply to theming only. Every nook and cranny can be changed on this app, all right? You can have various tabs with various categories. 
You can change the font size, the font type, everything about this app pretty much can be changed. Also guys, the notification time on this app isn't bad at all, all right? It pretty much came second while I was testing out all the various apps. Another really awesome feature that I found about this app was that it had a read later option. Now by that, what I mean is you can save tweets to read later. So say you're scrolling down your timeline, you see a bomb ass GIF or you see a really cool article that you want to read later, you can save this to read at any other time. That's really cool and it's the first time I'm seeing it in a Twitter application so thumbs up to Flamingo for that. Now another feature that I really liked was that it had these cool little animations. Now let's say you go onto a tweet and you click the like button or the retweet button. It had this nice little animation that is so, it's something simple but I really did appreciate this. It's small touches like this that let me appreciate third party applications and custom ROMs. Alright, how they put their unique signature and stuff. And I really like it, maybe you guys do too. Now the only kind I could find for this app was that it's not the fastest of the bunch. And to me it's kind of minor, especially given the fact that it has restrictions placed on it by Twitter themselves. Now let's move on to Talon. Now Talon by far was the fastest when it came on to real time notification. I give them a huge thumbs up for that, alright? Now they do have a theming section, although not as robust as Flamingo. But it is there, you got a lot of options to choose from. And it also has the ability to have various tabs in various categories. So it can have the UI looking just exactly how you want it to. Now another really great feature that this app has is that it has a backup and restore option. Now let's say you change phones really often or you're someone like me that flashes ROMs constantly. You keep on having to reinstall these apps. So what you can do is let's say you have your perfect theme set up, your perfect UI, everything is how you want it. All you have to do is just restore from your backup and it's back to how you had it before. Now onto the con side of things. One of the things I really wish it had, even though I just became introduced to it, was the whole gestures thing. Alright, this doesn't have a double tap option, the long press, nothing like that. Alright. Also guys, another thing I really didn't like was how it refreshed its feed. For me, it was like one step too much. Alright, to refresh the feed, what you had to do was click on the little tab at the top and it would show you at the bottom how many new tweets you had and you had to come down, click on that and then it would refresh itself. For me, it's a little bit too much. I would have rather if you could just click on hold and just refresh it itself like on Instagram. Now finally, the last thing on the con list for the Talent app had to do with its DMs. Now I realized that the direct messages on Twitter, on the third party applications, they're actually not all there. So if you go on the Twitter app, you see every DM you ever had from the beginning of time. However, with the other apps, it seems to have just like a restricted amount of DMs that you can show. So I thought this was like kind of weird, but I understood. However, with the talent app, I could only see my last three messages. Now let's say I had 50 DMs overall, and on the other apps, I could see like 20, 15 or whatever. With this, it was just three. Now for me, that was a huge bummer because up until this time, this was the one that was in first place for me. I was definitely loving this app and how fast it was. It had the theme in. But with the whole DM situation, I gotta give it a pass. So yeah guys, that's pretty much all the Twitter applications for Android, or should I say the more popular ones, all right? So if you want the fastest one in terms of notification, then Talent is gonna be your best bet. If you want the one that has the most customizability, then it's gonna be Flamingo. However, if you want to have the ability to edit tweets, then you need to stick with Phoenix. And if you want to be basic and just want something that works for you, then just stick with the Twitter app. Alright? Yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I chose Flamingo to be my number one Twitter application. Tell me your preference in the comment section down below. Alright? I do hope you liked this video. Hope it wasn't too long. And yeah, as always guys, you've been awesome. My name is Duckline and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.